special little man, <laughs> a certain special little man to go swim. So we will show you how that goes. Uh, and this is part of the tips and tricks video that I'm gonna be putting out today. So the tip for today is make sure to schedule things that isn't for you and your dog or anything like that, just that's specifically for your dog. It's okay to do things where you might be bored and your dog is just super freaking happy. Um, make sure that they're happy because most of the time they're doing things that makes you happy, but they're bored as crap. So kind of show them some appreciation, show them some love too, and do things that makes them happy, even if you might be just sitting around a little bored yourself. So that's kind of what we're doing today. Can't wait to show you guys how he swims. Can't wait to see how he swims because we haven't taken him to swim. This is gonna be the first time, so we'll see you there.
So that concludes Blake's swimming video. Uh, it's his first time swimming. He looks pretty tired. <laughs> Probably gonna knock out right after that. But he did amazing. He did great. He struggled a little bit, but um, he did really, really, really good, especially for his first time swimming. 
Um, now we're gonna go home and let him relax. <laughs> all right, guys, first of all, <laughs> got a new light. Uh, it's pretty cool, works pretty well. I'm with this remote so I can change the light whenever I want, have it color changing or whatever. So I think that's pretty nice. Let's turn it brightness all the way up. Let's have it changing colors. Cool. So let me know what you guys think about that little upgrade to the channel while I've been gone. <laughs> um, but let's get into what this video is about and what you guys have watched already. Um, Blake swimming. First of all, I think it was really, really cute. Um, he was a little bit stressed. Um, some of that panning, panting that you see uh, in the video is him being stressed, but that's totally normal. It was his first time. <laughs> Anyone swimming for the first time is a little bit stressed. So, but he did very, very well. Uh, nonetheless, he did great. The instructor said that usually it takes them about like three times to like start jumping off the edge. Um, he <laughs> kind of rather did that than use the steps. He's a little weird in terms of like textures on his paw. So I think that he just didn't like the texture of the actual pool steps. So I think that's why he would prefer to just jump in. But nonetheless, he did really well, even on the steps. He did so good and we are super proud of him. But let's move on and get into why I think you guys should bring your dogs to go swim as well. All right, all right, so, so reason number one, it is a great workout for your dog. A lot of times our dogs are kind of just chilling, relaxing, doing exactly what Blake is doing right now. <laughs> and that's totally fine. Um, that's totally fine, that's normal. Some dogs are super chill and would rather just do that than anything else. Um, but they still gotta get in that physical activity just like us humans do um, to maintain our health and everything like that. Uh, especially dogs that have uh, hip or joint issues in any way, swimming is gonna be a great, great, great benefit to them. Um, and I'll explain that in number two. So first reason was it is a great workout and dogs need to work out. Option two, it's gonna go beyond what a just a, a walk would do. Um, so it's gonna get that heart rate up in your dog a little bit more, make them burn off a little bit more calories um, and just in general gonna get their muscles working more than a walk is gonna. On top of that, like I said, if your dog has any hip or joint issues, swimming is gonna be way, way, way better for your dog than walking will actually be. Just because walking, you're, you're gonna have that impact um, on their hips. Blake actually has uh, hip dysplasia, which is pretty common in labs. Um, so a lot of times you'll see him walk like this instead of straight. Um, so he has hip dysplasia. Walking sometimes can hurt for him, uh, extended walks. So we do a couple things for that. We take him on short walks. We let him play around in dog parks most of the time. That's how he gets uh, most of his kind of energy out and how he gets most of his uh, activity. But we are definitely uh, going to incorporate swimming as well now. Swimming is great for your dog because you don't have any of that impact um, from walking or running or anything, really anything, any play, any fetch, anything that you're gonna do with your dog. Um, swimming is gonna be better for that impact stuff. Um, there's no impact, you're gonna, they're still gonna get in a great workout, um, gonna be building up strength in those maybe weaker areas um, and gonna be putting on more muscle in those areas as well. So like for Blake, it's his hips. He's definitely gonna be, uh, when he's swimming, he's definitely engaging those hip muscles and it's gonna help him to maintain flexibility and everything like that uh, well into those later years of his life. 
Right now, it hasn't been much of an issue at all, but with hip dysplasia, it gets worse as uh, as they age. Uh, so do <laughs> any issues really, um, but especially like hip dysplasia or any hip or joint issues. Um, those are normally gonna get worse as the dog ages, um, unless they were to get like surgery or something. But this is definitely a better alternative to surgery, just making sure that you have that mitigation factor in. So with that said, I think swimming is a great thing to incorporate into your dog's like health and wellness routine. Um, we're definitely already in talks to kind of maybe get him like a membership where he can go swim like four times a month or something like that, um, just because he liked it um, and he's gonna knock out, so that's good for both of us. <laughs> but on top of that, it is really, really, really gonna make the world of a difference um, when you get into those later years of your dog's life um, in terms of hip and joint health. So definitely, definitely think about it. I'm not saying it's a must, but it is a great little tip and trick to do for your dog. Uh, helps them out and it's a fun way to get them active. All right, peace out guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed <laughs> seeing my face back. All right, peace out guys. Keep each other safe, stay safe, love you.